So here we are at the Ryanair website. I typed in the address, the URL, www.ryanair.com and you'll see up in the top right hand corner here uh, the British flag and what that means is that the language of the site is set to English but also that the currency is set to British pounds so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change that you can see the, the pound sign on the ad there so I click on that little yellow bracket I go down to Ireland the website refreshes and now you see the Irish flag and the euro currency is now being used so once we have that out of the way we're going to actually book a flight so this part here is the find a flight form and it'll look a little bit different on different airlines but the idea is is the same you want to say where you're going to leave from where you want to go to and whether it's a return trip or a one-way trip now I'm finding this ad quite distracting so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up That's something you might want to do and have the form just up at the top of the page so it's set to Dublin as my location which is actually where I'd be flying from but I want to show you how to change that if you want to I clicked inside the field here and you can see Ireland is selected and then over on the right all of the airports that are available in Ireland so if you wanted to choose Cork or Kerry you just click on them I'm going to keep it to Dublin and then I'm going to choose a different destination so this again I have clicked in the destination field you can see all the different countries I'm going to pick Spain and over here on the right you can see all of the different airports there are loads of airports in Spain I'm going to pick Barcelona and once I've picked my destination the form expands to include information about the dates that I want to fly and also if I'm flying by myself or if I want if I'm flying with other people we'll start with the dates so this is the calendar we're starting in the where am I flying what date am I flying out and if I want to book further down the road I just click on this yellow semicircle and you can see I can go down through the months and then if I want to go back obviously I click on this semicircle here I'm going to pick the 24th of February And if you watch, if I slide the mouse over, you can see it's highlighting where I'm sliding over and it's showing the span of the trip. I'm going to pick the Sunday here, the 28th, and I'm going to just have one passenger but I want to show you how to add an additional passenger you can see you can if you're traveling with adults or children you just click on the plus button if you want to add a passenger and you click on the minus button if you want to remove a passenger so now I'm going to press let's go and it's going to search for flights for me so I click on there 